Well, molecular profiling for cancer refers to the fact that when you look at biology, when you look at human uh, um, cells, tissues, organs, and what have you, they have basic building blocks. And the basic building blocks are DNA, RNA, proteins, metabolites, and uh, doing molecular profiling means that you explore then the DNA of a cell, of a tissue, or changes in DNA associated with disease at a global level, meaning that you're not just looking at one gene, you're looking at the whole genome. And when you're doing profiling, molecular profiling at the RNA level, you're not looking at one RNA, you're looking at the whole set of RNAs that a cell or a tissue produces. And the same with protein and metabolic profiling. So you're looking at the whole complexity of that particular set of building blocks in cells and tissues. And so when we are doing molecular profiling, say, in relation to lung cancer, then we could be doing molecular profiling at the DNA level, looking at all the DNA changes associated that we could find that would be associated with lung cancer, or all the protein changes associated with breast cancer or with um, colon cancer and what have you. So that's basically what's referred to as molecular profiling. So the emphasis is on molecules on the one hand and getting a profile of the changes that could be associated with the disease process.